my name is Miranda Stanglin and I'm a mathematician and this is how to graph the absolute value of y equals x minus 1. I already have um, the equation written right up here to my right and it says y equals the absolute value of x minus 1. I have a chart over here it's an xy chart and we're going to be graphing it um, today. So when we start to try to figure out what does our graph look like we use what we call an xy chart and we put all of our x values on one side and all of the y values on the other side. Um, what we do is we just pick a point on the graph and we let x equal that value. Generally I start with 0 because it's the easiest to do. So I'm going to say let's let x equal 0. So when we let x equal 0 we want to know what's happening on the y side. So I plug 0 into my equation and I solve for y. So y is equal to the absolute value of 0 minus 1. So y is equal to the absolute value of minus 1. And remember that the absolute value is the positive number that's inside the absolute value sign. So the negative 1 becomes a positive 1. So we know that one point on our graph is 0 comma 1, which is 0 on the x-axis and up 1 on the y. Um, next, we want to pick another point on our graph, and uh, generally you want to go to the right and to the left of the, of the point that you have. So I'm going to go ahead and pick 1, and I'm going to pick minus 1. First, let's do 1. So when I have, what I do is I put the 1 in for the x, and I get y is equal to the absolute value of 1 minus 1 which means y is equal to 0. The absolute value is 0. So I have the line where when x is 1, y is 0. So it's over here. Next, I'm going to see what's happening over here because I see that the line's going this way and I know that an absolute value symbol that it goes up and an n of v. So I'm going to see what's happening at x equals 2. So when x equals 2, I say y is equal to the absolute value of 2 minus 1. So y is equal to the absolute value of 1, which is equal to 1. So when x is 2, 1, 2, y is 1. So I come up here. And I can see now that I already have the form for my absolute value graph. It's increasing at a slope of 1 over 1. Slope is noted by m. And our slope is going up 1 over 1, which is equal to 1. So if I want to continue graphing this absolute value, I'm going to go up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1, and it will continue on. And over here, it does the same thing. I'll go up 1 over up one over and it will continue as well. So this is how to graph the absolute value of the equation y equals x minus one.